Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Life Season 3, Episode Number 7. Last episode, we set ourselves up a greenhouse, an advanced one at that, and it's been doing an awesome job. Um, in fact, I believe, I want to say we have about five, six stacks, oh yeah, almost uh, five and a half stacks exactly of broccoli, <laughs> which we will be eating up very soon. Um, it barely uses any power at all. In fact, um, as far as I see here, it looks like we're out of uh, gas and our CO2 there. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to actually get that fill dump, but whoa! Oh man, that that was that was actually pretty close. <laughs> I need to make a meteor shield before it is too late. So I think I'm gonna actually do that real quick. Let's go over there and take a look at that meteor real quick before we get started today uh, but I do want to cook up some broccoli and stuff because it does really good from what I can see on like just filling up your hunger and your saturation wow this was not a big meteor at all was it <laughs> was kind of tiny and ridiculous uh, but yeah we really do need to get a meteor shield up and going at some point like really really soon and I think we actually have enough to do that I just don't know if we have enough to actually charge it and charging it I believe is what really will uh, help save us and our area so pretty much I like I said I've just been doing a lot of landscaping flattening out some of the areas around our um, well our starting area here I built this area up over here just because I really wasn't I didn't really like the way it looked it kind of went to the ground and just it was just weird so I went ahead and built up this nice whole area here and uh, let the grass finish you know, spreading and stuff. So I've just been kind of sitting in here waiting for a little bit. And I went ahead and did a little bit more mining and stuff like that. Um, just picked up some more iron and some more uh, coal and stuff like that. I also made my way back over to that bazaar. In fact, let's go ahead and grab some broccoli real quick. I'm going to go ahead and let that uh, start cooking up in the meantime. We'll grab us a nice, awesome stack of broccoli. Oh man, come on guys, you, everyone everyone likes broccoli, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say everyone likes broccoli, okay, granted, yes, when you're younger, broccoli just does not have that taste, you know, but I like broccoli and cheese myself, I, I don't know why, I just, I, I've always loved broccoli and cheese, it's really good, especially the broccoli, cheese, and cauliflower, so good, love it, alright, so, anyways, um, as I was saying, while that cooks up, let's head back over to that bazaar, in fact, actually... Let's head back this way, and ooh, do we have any gold? All right, we're going to have to cook up some gold. Come on, Brackley, hurry up and finish. We need to get this guy set up on some solar power. That's what we need to do. Um, that way we don't have to worry about using up all of our coal all the time. But there we go. That's all done. Let's get some gold going real quick and have us a little snack on the side. Today we're going to have some more fun. I think today we'll jump into... A little bit more of immersive engineering. Um, I got a couple ideas of what I really would like to do around the area here. And I'm thinking, you know, building a nice cool town or um, some sort of kingdom. I'm not sure. Something like that. I, I have plans. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty cool. And we'll just keep expanding and, and making bigger and better and doing more and everything. I, I, I'm, I'm really kind of pumped for it to be honest so hopefully i don't know maybe you guys will have some ideas let me know what you guys think so let's get our meteorite ingots there and i believe uh let's see sh oops shield um yeah just redstone and cobblestone super super easy to make i'm surprised we actually haven't made one of these already i think this was like one of the first things that we made um in mod life season two <laughs> We're covered! Achievement get. Alright, let's go ahead. Yeah. I remember this. Oh, good! Good! You actually turn off. Yes. <laughs> I remember this was like downright the most annoying thing ever. Oh, and it actually has like an interface now. Okay, that's really cool. Block comments on. Well, yes, yes. Obviously, we want. That's why we made the shield. What did you want? Just to make it look pretty? Gosh. All right, so it's charging up uh, by default. I think it has like a um, like a base effect. I'm not really sure. I guess. Okay, awesome. Power level one of five. Uh, ooh, okay. So the next levels we have to get uh, this. I can't remember what it's called. 
let's type in meteors. I believe it's, yeah, Krekenite. That's what it is. Uh, we need to find this. Sometimes it'll come inside of the uh, meteors that fall. There's random chance, you, you know, you, it falls different types of meteors. Uh, usually you'll find the meteor chips here. Sometimes you'll find um, these red meteor gems inside some of them. And sometimes you'll find, like, the freezerite um, comets actually drop and stuff like that. But hopefully this doesn't make, like, noises constantly like it did last time. If it did, we are moving it. <laughs> But let's come back over here. Let's take a trip back over to the bazaar and check it out. He restocked his inventory. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. All right, let's see. I would like to take more chickens, more Mr. Jenkins. Uh, sheeps, I'm not too worried about. We'll go ahead and take the other cow. Not too worried about the other horse, but we will take the pig off your hands. Thank you, my kind sir. Much appreciated. Also... My other friend here, the metallurgist, has restocked his inventory of steel. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all that I can there and grab ourselves quite a bit of steel, which is awesome because we can't even craft it yet. Uh, there's two ways to actually get steel in the pack so far, and that would be one way, the blast furnace, which unfortunately enough, we just have not been able to get the blazes yet because we have a horrible, evil nether. And as far as the other way, we need to make an induction smelter. So I'm thinking that's probably the way we're going to wind up going here very, very soon. But today, guys, I know I've been yapping and doing lots of stuff, but let's jump right into it. I think it's time to get started. In fact, we actually had to go over there to do what I want to do today, and that is to craft up, in immersive engineering, a crusher, which is under tools and machinery right there. Crushing an ore is an effective way of increasing their yield, for each ore creates two dust, which you can then smelt. This industrial size crusher is a quick way of doing so. The machine will consume up to 80 RF per tick, and its processing speed depends on the power supplied. However, it is not only used for crushing ores, every living thi uh, oops, I was going to say every living thing, but I guess that would work too. Every living being to fall into the machine will take grave damage. And the crusher will output the relevant drops. Likewise, oh, yep, yeah, we're moving it. All items cannot be processed, will be destroyed. Applying redstone signal to the control panel at the front will halt the crusher's process. The structure is formed by right clicking in the central block of the front. The front is the wide side of the structure, which has a light engineering block at the bottom. So, this is going to be awesome, guys. This is a large multi-block structure that we're going to have to start setting up to craft. Now, obviously, we really, really want this because this, this, dan I'm dancing, I'm dancing. <laughs> it's just not working anymore, guys. We need something a little bit better, I think. I'm going to leave this guy here for now. Oh, range of 64 blocks. Wonderful. All right, nice. We'll just leave that uh, to be for now, and I'll probably move this at um, off camera or something. Also, I do need to set up our other uh, greenhouse as well, which, I don't know, if we have time, we might set that up today. So, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this right here. Let's get some iron cooking. We'll set that up there. And we need a little bit of copper going at least also. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need. For one, we need to utilize some of the steel. So, let's type in engineering because we're going to need, I believe, some steel fences for one. And then we're also going to need some steel scaffolding. So, I believe we need... 10 steel scaffold, uh, scaffolding. So let's go ahead and craft up a few sets of these steel fences. And we'll do two sets of the steel scaffolding. There we go. So we got eh, one extra, which is fine. If you hover over this little question mark here, this will tell you your required materials that you need to actually uh, craft the multi-block structure. So we need 10 steel scaffolding. Just got it. We need... Uh, eight steel fences, which, well, we still got plenty of those left. And we also needed uh, two other things. We need 11 light engineering blocks. All right, what do we need for our light engineering blocks? They're right here. We're going to need some iron mechanical components. Uh, as you can see, we need the copper and the iron. This creates two of them. So how many did we need? 11? Yep, we need 11, so we're going to have to craft up quite a few of these, at least 12. 
All right, let's get our iron. And after this, hopefully, we will not have to just smelt our ores by themselves. We will be able to process them like they should be, which is going to be a nice thing. All right, so let's go ahead and make, ooh, um, how many of these do I need? Let's start off with eight. I think eight is a good number. Like eight, eight is good. All right, we got eight of those guys, and boom. We need three more. All right, let's do it. Uh, we need another two, one, two. We need actually, what am I out of? Hold on a minute. Uh, you, you, I need one more. So I need iron, iron. Hello, iron. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. That works. You and you. Bam. And then just a little bit more iron. Thankfully, we got a few cooked up already. No need to cook up more. Wait, what? Copper? There we go. That works too. Forgot the copper. All right, there we go. We got 11 light engineering blocks. We actually have 12, but one extra, right? <laughs> I can count, promise. Last but not least, we are going to need nine hoppers so that shouldn't be too bad we just need to get our wood out which uh one two bam <laughs> let's just do it this way this should be just as easy uh that'll get us eight one more let's just do these bada bing bada boom plenty of steel i'm so glad that had that vendor had, like, steel. That is just amazing. I don't know if every metallurgist has that or not, um, but if they do, awesome. If not, oh my gosh, I am so happy. <laughs> I feel so lucky. All right, so we need some more iron, apparently, because um, I'm pretty sure we are not going to have enough just to do all that. Let's, oh my gosh, you stupid shield. Yeah, you better save my base. I almost took a hit earlier, considering that would have been, like, the probably the unworst hit ever. Because <laughs> that was, like, the most puny-looking uh, meteor I've probably ever seen. All right, so our iron's almost done. And let's go ahead and just click that in there. Hit that. Awesome. We have nine. We are ready to go, guys. Lastly, let's go ahead and grab ourselves our engineer's hammer, and let's get started. Let's see, I'm gonna put you there, there, and there. And now we just gotta find a nice place to actually get this guy set up. I'm actually feeling like over here wouldn't be a bad area. Um, maybe setting it up maybe out here. Yeah, actually, you know what? I kinda like that idea. All right, let's do that. All right, so we're going to set it up out here. I'm not really going to build a structure just yet, but I, I would like to do something with it. Kind of like a processing center, you know? Um, I just don't know yet. Got to get some ideas going and flowing in the brain. All right, so what do we got to do? We need four and then two, three. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, so one, two, three, four. This goes, oops, that's too much. All right, so this guy goes there, that goes there. All right, so that's that, for the moment, at least. And then we need this and that. Cool, all right, let's go up to the next layer. And we need three here. Uh, is that one, two? So that looks like that's there, and that's there? Right, okay, and then this, 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 this. And this guy there, it is a little tricky to actually see it, it feels like, but actually, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, because we're supposed to have one left of those. We're supposed to have two left of those. Yeah, that looks right. And then these go on top of this area right, oops, right here. I'm assuming it doesn't matter if they face a certain way or not, uh, but I'm thinking this is supposed to be where we're going to right click with our engineer's hammer. Shift right click, right click, no, right there. Oh, oh there we go, right there. <laughs> that worked too. Oh man, guys, look at this. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, baby. I like it. So I'm assuming this right here is where we can actually uh, turn the machine on and off. That's gonna be our lever area. So let's go ahead and set that up. See how awesome the cooked broccoli is? I, I'm still at 20 hunger, I love it. That's one of the reasons why it's like, yeah, this is nice. 
A little bit better than um, a bread, in my opinion. All right, so there we go. We'll grab our lever. And I wonder how this is actually doing, considering I have not fed it power. I do need to actually give this guy a nice source of power, but it does have a lot of just oxygen. has no CO2 in there, and it's still doing a pretty good job. Not too bad. Uh, what I'm actually thinking about doing is running a uh, power system to, like, one point and have, like, um, like a, a power area to where... Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to want to explain. Kind of like a um, like a power station, right? And so the power lines will feed the power station, and it kind of it works above ground. You can monitor it above ground, do your fixing, and then go underground, and that's where the cables are going to be for some of these other machines like this. That's what I'm thinking about doing. But I'll do that up in the next few episodes, possibly. So let's get over here and let's continue working on our crusher, though. This is this is important, guys. So if we work our way up, right? Let's actually not put that there. Let's work our way up. Ooh, yeah. So we can see the crusher mechanism in there. Look at that. Yeah. We're standing in the, the hurdy part. <laughs> this is what I call pain. Well, it will be very soon. So we're going to actually set up some power on this. I'm not quite sure exactly where the power is. I think, I think it's right here. So we're going to run a, a line out this way. Um... I wonder if it would be okay to run a line off there, or if I should just run it off this way from there. I kind of like the thought of running it off this way. But I, I can always change it later, obviously. And plus, once we um, yeah, close the game out, you know, all the wires are going to be gone anyway. Which is the other reason why I want to do this. That way I have the dust. That way I can make more electrum and all that good stuff, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab our wire, our electrum, and let's have some fun setting this stuff up. This shouldn't take but just a quick minute. In fact, let's go ahead and also pick up a another chest. I also need to look to see if we have any other better chests as well. Oh, you know what we... Uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. I'm like, I'm excited. Uh, so apparently you can make a wooden storage crate from immersive engineering it says it will keep um inventory when broken i'm not sure if you can oh you can place a whole bunch of different items wonderful you know what let's use this thing that would be cool that or a chest eh, it's kind of the same i don't know if i am assuming you could put them together if you can that's amazing oh, wait wait give me that back Nope, still single. That's fine. I'm just, I was just curious. Sounds cool. I like it. All right, let's run this over and see if we can get this guy up and running. Um, I'm thinking we could. Oh my gosh, you stupid Enderman! It's not a game, Mr. Enderman. I'm thinking it's a game and stuff and stupid, big stupid head. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> sidetrack, stupid enemy. All right, let's jump up here, set up that, pop that guy down there, and then last but not least, oh, wait a minute, is that going to be okay? I want to say that's okay. Oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> All right, no? No power. All right, are you, do you go, oh, no, that's not it. Where's your power? Where do you like power? Hmm. All right. If all else fails, take a read in the book. I said blah 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 um, but I, I, I guess, can we right click this with our hammer? Maybe this is the power right here. I wonder if we can run that over. I don't know if we can from there. Okay. Both ways is obstructed. All right. All right. Pick you up and see if we can kind of put this over this way just a wee bit more. Yeah, it looks like that would work. So let's get that guy and that guy. Gosh, that broccoli works so well. 
Still haven't even lost any hunger yet. But doing an amazing job. Come on. You can do it. There we go. All right, let's get this guy working. You got power? Where do you take power, you machine? Holy jeez, man. Why are you being so difficult? Seriously. All right, guys, I know you're getting tired of me probably trying to figure out where this power goes. Let me do some poking around here and see where um, the actual uh, power goes for this thing because I feel like I'm... Oh, wait, hold on. Does, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Once I figure it out, I will let you know. Be back in just a minute. All right, guys, and a quick little look. I found that the power is up here. We need to make our way up here, but it's right there. <laughs> Basically, wow, would have never known otherwise. Oh, don't tell me that's obstructed. I know better than that. There we go, and check it out. Power coming in, ready to go. Let's place ourselves a crate right there, and pretty much from here, we just gotta figure a way to uh, send our ores inside of the actual crusher itself. So let's see what we can do. I'm actually gonna probably go to the route of... Eh, let's do this. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of build craft. I stink the sound of that. All right, we're gonna put together a couple golden transport pipes. This, uh, as you can see, it says speeds up items, so it's gonna make our items zip through the pipes pretty quickly. Let's go and sleep through the night real quick before uh, bad stuff starts happening and ruining everything we did today, mainly like the crusher. Uh, we don't want that happening. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a few pieces of wood. There we go, two is with you. Uh, we also need one more piece of glass. You guys like how I always try to make sure I have certain things before we start? Yeah, I try to make sure. All right, so we got that, we got that, and I guess last but not least, let's set up some ores. Um, gold for sure, iron for sure, and copper's a good good one to do too. And we'll just say it that way. Uh, all right, let's see, how's the trees doing? I went ahead and obviously we planted some fir trees. They look awesome. I, I like the way they're just, I just like the way they look out there. I <laughs> think they are awesome. All right, so let's see, what can I do here? I feel like I kinda wanna try something and see how well this is actually going to work. I, I don't really know how awesome this is gonna be. Oh, really? Oh, it connects. Oh, nice, I thought you had to just like straight up just drop the items in there, but you can see there's like a little um, connection there that it just feeds it right in. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, that is beautiful. That makes me very happy. All right, now the other thing I want to do is right here, right next to this guy right here, because I'm assuming, no, okay. I was gonna say, I think it could connect, but let's go ahead and pull it all the way down. Don't have a problem with that. We'll put that guy there, and we'll put that there. Cool, all right. And if we pop a connector here and connect it up as well, you can see that our transport pipe is also receiving power. Now, now, <laughs> it looks like it's using a fair amount of power, obviously, so this might not be the best option, but it does export items rather quickly. Take a look at that. It just pulls out all 23 at once. Now, this is going to shoot out. Let's turn this guy on. Oh, that is so awesome. The noises. The noises are amazing. Oh, you can see it grinding the copper up actually in there too. Oh, that is awesome. Look at it. Oh, it even has a chance of pulling out extra. Oh, that's even better. So, uh, yeah, that is the export there, the item export. It's going to export um, all of the... Um, uh, grit. It says grit, but it's like, you know, your pulverized dusts and all that stuff. It should be all or dictionary correctly. So we do have a small chance of getting extra, which is really nice. Let's see if it can actually store 
a whole bunch of items at once. This is a nice test, right? I don't know how many items it can actually hold, but oh my gosh. If it if it actually processes all that, then that's just downright amazing. And it looks like everything's keeping up. Let's head over to our water wheel real fast and see how much power we're using, if any. Oh yeah, we're using up a hefty amount. I wanna say it's probably the wooden transport pipe, because that actually looks like it's it's using quite a bit of power. Look at that, look at that. Now we just have to find a way to actually get this stuff processing properly. Um, well, I mean, besides processing, I mean like, you, you know what I mean. We need to actually cook it into ingots now. So we need to have a way of actually doing that. Hmm, how do we wanna transport those items and what kind of furnace do we actually wanna use? Is there any special furnace? Well, hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> this could be kind of cool if, if, if it works the way I want it to. Uh, for one, let's go ahead and get started. I want to see if I can make a solar power generator for this guy. It allows the table to be charged by solar power. So we need redstone, upgrade, glass, iron, just a few fancy things. You, you. Um, what did it need? Glass and that thing, okay. Do I have any of those left? Yep, okay, we do. Went ahead and made a few of them. All right, we should be able to just click that together. Now, does that is that a global upgrade? Yes, it is. Awesome! So we can see its solar panel is lit and it's slowly charging. Now, I'm thinking, I don't know if we can actually do more than one. I don't think it actually does anything. Hmm. Let's try real quick. Probably, you know, we, we do have like the uh, crusher over there giving us uh, ground iron and all that good stuff, but I honestly can't remember if this thing actually takes, if it can take two. Okay. Doesn't stack well. Ah, I should have read that first. <laughs> well, I didn't hold shift. Upgrades the entire production table. All right, that's fine. We can make another one. In fact, we'll probably need to make one here as well, so that's probably a good idea. All right, so we can see this thing actually building up with internal power and everything. In fact, I don't really feel like stacks well up to eight times. Works crafting is able more furnaces, increases production. I think it also increases the um, amount of fuel it uses as well, I would assume. So, I do want to open up Steve's workshop. All right, so with this transfer capacity filter enables transfer filters, auto transfer from to and from the table. That's what we want, auto transfer. So we're gonna need some gold, we're gonna need a couple hoppers and another blank upgrade, okay? So we're gonna need you, we're gonna need some of you. And I think this should work out just fine. We just gotta get that iron over there. I hopefully we'll have some going. I think it's going through all of the gold first. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, but we do need a little bit there. So let's see, we need 10. I think we can manage 10, right? Yeah, let's do it. I hope this actually works. If this works, this would be just awesome uh, to have it actually export into the production table and then have it automatically export out. Um, I don't know if there's a, is there like a um, fuel efficiency of solid fuel types, adds an input queue. That could be worthwhile. Let's idle components charge up for later, adds extra storage. That would probably be necessary. All right, so blank and a crafting table. Or I mean, a grab the chest, 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 chest. I'm sorry, chest. <laughs> <laughs> and a crafting table makes all the sense in the world. All right, you and you. Wait a minute, Mr. Tricky, what are you doing? Oh, shaped crafting. Go figure. <laughs> of course it's shaped crafting. Why wouldn't it be? All right, the other, we need our two hoppers. Oh, wait, why did I only make one chest? I know I just used one, but I need, I know I needed that one and I just crafted it. I just didn't make enough earlier, obviously. 
Bam, bam. And we have two of those guys. Last but not least, auto transfer upgrade. There we go. All right, now how hard it is, there's nothing hard at all to make that. All right. Let's go ahead and make another one of those tables real quick. We got the stone. Where's the stone? Where's my stone? I'm not cooking up no more stone. Give me my chisel. Come here, you. Grrr. Put that back in there. Give me my stone back. And let's do this one more time. Bam. And cobblestone and three planks. All right. Cobblestone ready to go. Three more planks. One, two, three. And we have ourselves yet another production table. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up with a few more furnaces to pop inside for our actual upgrades. And I think that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and snatch this guy out of there. We might still have to power it for a little bit with um, coal, which is fine. I don't really see a problem with that. So how well are we doing? Oh, wow. Oh, we're actually getting Cinnabar as well. Holy cow, man. Oh, that's just awesome. All right, let's pick this guy up. Let's toss down our production table. Let's actually halt the process of this real quick. We'll just go ahead and turn that off for a minute. All right, let's set up our upgrades. So we get four furnaces. Uh, let's do extra storage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I guess that's only for crafting. Ooh. Well, it shouldn't be doing more than four items at one time anyway, so I, I think that's okay. Auto transfer, though, we do want that. So transfer... Uh, which way is the front? Okay, so this is the front. So I'm assuming blah, 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 that would be the back side. We want input enabled, and on the right side, your right when facing the front. Uh, we want this to output enabled. All right, so that's what we want. And then we'll set up um, that crate right there. So it should automatically output this if we test this out real quick. We'll have this back to here, and let's go to upgrades. We'll pop in the solar there real quick. Solar panel, dark. Seriously? <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to do, do stuff, and your stupid thing, sun and stuff. All right, let's actually do this. Let's add, oh, adds input queue. That's what we needed. Yep, that's right. Let's get two of those going real quick. Back to you. Get that. Get some wood, and we're about to sleep through the night. A bam, while that cooks up. Oh yeah, if this works, guys, this is awesome. Oh yeah. All right, so auto transfer input queue. I'm assuming that's for the, you know, obviously the input and stuff, all that goodness. Um, we're gonna need a few more of those. Let's get those crafted up real quick. Charger. Where's? I always get these things confused. This one, input queue. We need a few of these. Let's make up like five. Yeah, that should be good. All right, and iron is ready to go. We'll grab that. Input Q, a go. Uh, what else did I want? Wasn't there something else? Oh, yeah, fuel efficiency. We want a fuel efficiency. Where's that at? Solar generator. Wait, production speed? Oh, there it is. Proves the fuel efficiency of solid fuel types. All right, so we need four more furnaces. We need some more iron. And a couple pistons. All right, iron. Just go ahead and cook it up, because I need it. Go ahead and grab ourselves a few pieces of redstone. I'm thinking four will be fine. And in doing so, we'll go ahead and grab a little bit more wood. A bam. And I don't need all that gold at the moment, so we'll put that away. So we got the furnaces. Actually, I think I need a few more furnaces for what I'm wanting to do. So let's go ahead and craft up another eight. We use furnaces all the time for everything, so. It'll be all right. All right, so we're right here. We want a few of these. Why can't I craft those? Because I don't have any cobblestone. Would make sense. All right, we need a few pistons, and we should be able to craft. Why don't you like me? Redstone. Ah, right, redstone. We need eight redstone. And fuel efficiency upgrades. Awesome. We'll grab half a stack of coal. And guys, we should be ready to go. Let's see if this is going to work the way we want it to. All right. Nice. Global upgrade. 
I like it. Input Q. Ooh, we need one for each of them, apparently. That's fine. And we'll go ahead and toss in our coal and let that fill up. Awesome. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Look at that. Check it out. Yeah, a couple of those set up on these will be just fine. I do not see a problem with that whatsoever. All right, so as far as transfer, okay, so this guy, output enabled, input enabled. Hmm. Input auto transfer. There we go. Are you going to auto transfer? Hmm. Enabled. Um. Okay. Okay. It's it's pulling in my item. Why is why is it doing that? Oh, output. Ah, right. <laughs> that would make sense. It's still inputting though, which is fine. I don't mind that happening. The backside input enabled, output enabled, input enabled. Hold on a minute. Input disabled. I want output enabled and auto transfer. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's better. That's nice. I like that. All right, and to finish it up, if we set up transfer, we can click on this one. We basically want to do the same thing. So the back side, we want to set to input enabled, and then we want to set this to output enabled auto transfer. And we're going to do that for all of them. So output uh, input enabled, output enabled, and auto transfer. And then on this guy, we want input enabled, output enabled auto transfer. All right, we crank up the machine again. Let that guy start running. All of, oh, oh, there it goes. We saw some more gold go in there and all that, nice. And then we can put that down there and let that run. Oh yeah, guys. I gotta say, I think this turned out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here for today, guys. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, the other thing I gotta worry about is this, though. That is an issue. I'll see if I can't uh, come up with something about that later. <laughs> but for now, guys, we got some ore processing up and running. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.